Welcome to a GCSE higher tier exam question on vectors. The vector OX equals 2A plus B. The vector OY equals 4A plus 3B. Express the vector XY in terms of A and B. Give your answer in its simplest form. To do this we use the nose to tail rule for vectors. The vector XY is equal to a vector from X to O plus a vector from O to Y. So we can write xy is equal to the vector xo plus the vector oy. Now we know the vector ox is 2a plus b. So the vector xo is just the negative of that. So it's equal to minus 2a minus b. Remember, we meant to underline vectors when we can't write them in bold. Plus or y, so that's plus 4a plus 3b. Let's simplify that. We've got minus 2a plus 4a, which is plus 2a. And we've got minus b plus 3b, which is plus 2b. So that's the vector xy. Second part of the question. XYZ is a straight line. XY to YZ is in the ratio 2 to 3. So let me write this. Two dots there and 2 to 3. Express the vector OZ in terms of A and B. Give your answer in its simplest form. So we want the vector from O to Z. And there's two ways I could find it. I could say it's OY plus YZ, or I could say it's OX plus XZ. I'll say that OZ is equal to OY plus YZ. Now OY is not a problem, I know that's 4A plus 3B, but what about YZ? Well, yz is a continuation of the straight line yx. But in terms of size, if that's two parts, this is three parts. So it's one and a half times as long as xy. So that means I can say that it's oy, which is 4a plus 3b, plus one and a half, or three over two times, xy. And we found xy in the previous part of the question, and it turned out to be 2a plus 2b. So it's just one and a half times that vector. So that gives me 4a plus 3b. Now 3 over 2 times 2a, the 2's cancel, and I get plus 3a. And 3 over 2 times plus 2b, the 2's cancel, and I get plus 3b. It just remains to simplify this. 4a plus 3a is 7a. And plus 3b plus 3b is plus 6b. And that completes the question.